I would have never thought that I could be in the same car, in the same place, breathing the same air as Mimi the maid. But I'm growing up. I'm here furniture shopping with Mimi for her new house. Mimi being the mother of Eva and me being the stepmother. I mean, look, there's no other way to do this. We have to be around each other and try to make something work. Yes, girl, this place is amazing. I love everything in here. Got a few pieces out of here. Oh, I love this too. Yes. Girl, I love this back here. This girl is still crazy as hell. I'm not giving her the address to my new house, but she can't sit down and help me pick out a piece of furniture here or there. I did go visit the Jordans in LA so we could squash this ridiculous beef. I don't know how long this is gonna last, but for Eva's sake, we're gonna try to make this thing work. Your baby daddy told me that, you know, you had a V-I-T-C-H. He said that you got a girlfriend. I do. I can understand that after our lovely night, you decided to go to the other side. Stupid. I want to meet her, and I'm inviting you to a party. Oh. And I also want you to bring her to the party. OK. I've decided to invite a lot of people. Like who? Like who? <laughs> who, girl? Because you always got some of your sleep. I invited Tommy. I wanted to ask you to invite the other girls. And I asked Carly to come. My whole thing is like, it's time for us to grow up. We need to be the better picture and the example to show them, hey, we used to fight too. And now we can sit down and enjoy each other's company. Do you think that your video release party is the place? I'm going up. I'm being able to be around those people that I don't like either. Enjoy each other's company and have drinks and eat lobster and drink champagne. Sounds amazing, doesn't it? Jocelyn is barely off the plane from LA and she's already starting She can sit here and act like she doesn't have some sneaky, sinister plan up her sleeve, but I know her all too well, and so does everyone else. I want to tell you, I heard in the streets this bitch, KK, that her and Stevie had relations in the past. So, you know, I know that you met her before. I did. But you didn't really meet her like that. Correct. So, this is for you. What is this? Yeah, I just went ahead and did a little snoop snoop for you, so you can know who she is. I gotta let Miss Mimi the aid know what's going on with KK. Don't let that little dog fool you, and that little wah, and that little granny smile fool you. He <laughs> he. Guess what, bitch? We still know about you. We see right through you. That's some serious. No, it's very serious. Oh, did you read what's down there? Yes, <laughs> I saw that. I didn't want you to skip that part. So I open up this envelope, and I'm looking at mug shots, criminal history, even a post about KK being on I am floored. Not because KK had a criminal history, but because Stevie considers Karen his sister. And Jocelyn is digging up all KK's personal information and handing it to me. Now that's the Jocelyn Hernandez I know. I just wanted you to be careful because you know what, Stevie called her his sister, and I wouldn't want Eva to be around that type of sister. You need to be prepared. And I appreciate you for this. And that's nothing, whatever you need. We can't be behind it. We need right. to know what the, we need to see him.